say that? I did not say that. No? If you repent and trust Jesus, yes sir. Do you have a permit to be here? Uh, did you get permission to be here? The Constitution of the United States? Okay. Do you have an ID on you? Sure do. Did you get permission from the top of the hill to be out here? It's a public university, sir, is that right? Yes. And I just talked okay. to the director out here, and he said uh, this is a public university, free speech area. Okay, who did you talk That's to? That's what I'm here doing. Who did you talk to? I don't remember the man's name, the guy, the director of this place here. Who was it? Who was the, who's the, who's the person you talked to? I don't, I just explained to you, sir. I don't remember his name. Now, okay, what does he look like? What's that? What does he look like? He's an older man, balding. I'm here to exercise my constitutional rights. Uh, free okay, speech you, and free religion. Okay, you have to. That's have, what I'm doing. You have to have permission. Well, from, the Constitution gives me well, permission sorry, in this sir, university. This, can I see that it? rule, sir? Can I see the the, the regulation, please? Uh, I'm willing to cooperate with you. you just yeah, give me the regulation, the permit uh, process. Do you have a local address here? What's that? Do you have a local address? That's my. I just moved from North Carolina to Kentucky. Okay, now. Uh, as I understand, sir, Sergeant, you are required by oath to support uh, the Constitution of this university and the Constitution of the state of Kentucky. Is that right? Are you often on UK's campus? What's that? Are you often on UK's campus as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Are you often on UK's campus? Am I offered on US? Are you often on UK's campus? This is my first time on UK. So this is not UK, but there's another person like yourself at UK. This is Western Kentucky University, right? The North Carolina yeah. OL. What's your name? John. John. Yeah. John who? John McClone. McClone. Yeah. Three eight four three nine one five. So if I haven't done something illegal, sir, I'm going to continue with the meeting. One five nine, sir. Yes. If I haven't done something illegal, I'm going to continue with the meeting. Uh, we're, we're trying to verify whether whether your uh, whether the university is allowed to be here. There's certain areas that are reserved for uh, for free speech. Well, if you uh, point me to that area, I'll be glad to go and, to. And it. we're just trying okay. to find. Okay, that's fine. So right now, young people, we're trying to find out where the free speech area is on the campus. And as soon as the police give that to me, then we can move over there. What's that, sir? You have a phone number. Two seven. Been preaching about four years. Outside, do you preach in a church, or what do you do? I do teach in a church, but I don't preach as public. It's proclamation. That's what preaching is. The root, the Greek word is caruso. And uh, the, uh, Caruso requires you to go out and tell everybody. Most people don't like to hear it, but that's why the police are here. Are you married? I am. So why do you have a camera? Well, for my protection, for everybody's protection, legal protection. My lawyer uh, says, my lawyers say to uh, make sure you get videotape. And he goes, we have, uh, also we have that right too, young people. It's called the freedom of press. The freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of the press. It's the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Kentucky. That's the supreme law of the land, you know. That's the supreme law of the land. So that's, I don't videotape because I, you know, I, I really want to. I videotape for your protection and mine, so there's no question about what was said and who said it. And uh, so if there's any, any kind of legal issues, we can deal with that properly. Good luck to you, man. I Good luck to you, Pray for me. That's why that's okay. I'm at. If you pray, go pray somewhere for me right now. If you would, I appreciate it. I travel all over, uh, all over the region. So, young people, if I might continue, listen up carefully. The last point one of the Christians made was 
Jesus wouldn't do it this way. It's pretty unloving. Now listen carefully. Listen carefully. Revelation 3.19 says, As many as I love, this is Jesus talking, I rebuke and chasten. Now God loves you, but He has conditions for you to be saved. Those conditions are repentance towards God and away from sin. That you love Him. Another condition is you be born again of the Holy Spirit. Now if you haven't been born again of the Holy Spirit, you won't care about the Bible. You won't care about people's souls. All you'll care about is your sin. That's what you'll really love. You'll love your sin more than you love God. So, Christian will give a good message and then he'll make it lukewarm. Stop being rude. Stop being rude. A Christian's not supposed to be rude. Now, I listen to him. Now, will you listen to me? Good. Now, here's the issue. Why are you taking a picture? Jesus was not disrespectful, sir. Really? Jesus said, Woe to you hypocrites. He wasn't disrespectful. Jesus said, Woe to you hypocrites. Jesus said, Woe to whole cities. Whole cities. Bethsaida. Whole cities. Jesus pronounced woes. It would have been better for you than for Sodom and Gomorrah on that day called Judgment Day. So, Many of you grew up in the Bible Belt, heard the Bible, 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 and you reject it. You all live for your own sin. You all live your own way. You can. You have a free will. You can do that. But one day you'll be held accountable for what you've done with your life. That's the point. Get off the wide road. And you perverted everything. That God created everything, and humankind perverts the image that they're made in. All right, hey guys, guys, I want you to listen up. She's not here. Guys, what he said, part of what he said is very true, okay? Part of what he said, we are a fallen race, guys. We are a fallen race to sin. We do horrible things. Yeah, we pervert Christ. But guys, the message of Christ is one of salvation, not one of condemnation. The message of Christ is one that fulfills the law, not one that abolishes it, guys. The message of Christ is that He wants to meet you where you are, and He doesn't care about your sin. He still loves you. He wants you to change sin. That's a lie. He wants you guys to change your lives for Him. He wants you guys to love Him. Guys, the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. And that's what we need to do. But guys, Christ, did, Christ showed that to us through love, guys. guys. I want you guys to see the love that Christ has for us. The love that while we were still sinners, that while we were still horrible, Christ died for us. And Christ commands you to turn from your sin. And Christ commands you to turn away from your sin. Stop sinning lest something worse happen to you, Jesus said. Jesus told the adulterous woman, go and sin no more. And if I have given a false testimony, sir, which you implied that I did, you better lay it out here so we understand it. Because you're calling me a liar. And I want to know where I've lied from God's word. No, he said half of what he said is true. Then okay, half of it would be a lie. I want to know which half, sir. Sir, God has given each human being a freedom to choose. Liberty. A freedom of will. Jesus brought condemnation because you believe not. Because you obey not. Right. Christ commands. Christ is the king. Why won't you obey my king? Yeah, mockers have their part in the lake of fire, the Bible says. So go ahead, mocker. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha.